Hello MMO fans, Mac Rokart here for Devil's MMO. We're going to take a look at EverQuest 2 today. The classic MMO RPG that has enthralled fans for almost a decade. Now you can read a proper written review over at Devil's MMO. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below. Now this is a very early part in the game. I'm playing as a uh, barbarian. Just fighting a fish, as you do. I'm not sure what's going on with the shield. <laughs> Take that fish. If only real fishing could be so interesting. Now, uh, I, if you've been in the MMO uh, RPG scene for quite a while, there's a very good chance you've played either the original EverQuest or EverQuest 2, both of which are still fully playable. Uh, the service is still supported by Sony Online, uh, so you can check into both if you're interested. Um, so, this review isn't really for you, but more for people who can kind of who who came in with World of Warcraft or came in after the free to play uh, craze with area games and perfect world this is this is who we're looking at now and as you can see I mean it looks quite dated the graphics haven't uh, aged very well I imagine they've done decent upgrades to the visual style over the years but you know, I mean, it's not so much that the graphics aren't great, but they don't seem very optimised. My computer will play Metro 2033, and it will run on the highest settings, and it will run at a decent frame rate. But this on its highest setting, even though I've got 16 uh, megabytes of RAM, it just will not work on the highest settings. We were having pretty big issues. It's slow right down. So this isn't a game to get if you want the highest graphical power. And I mean, it, the two highest settings even come with a warning saying that the higher graphical settings probably won't run even on high-end machines. And that's not just being cute. That's true. Even here on the third highest setting, the slowdown. I mean, that just said 17 frames per second, which is just crazy. There's thousands and thousands of quests to do. I mean, I don't want to get bogged down with the graphical stuff here, so let's talk about content. There are 6,000 quests to do, a huge world to explore, thousands of NPCs to come across, uh, dungeons, uh, co-op missions, there's all sorts of things that you can do. And to say that this game is near, it's eight years old in November, to say that it's that old, it's pretty impressive. I mean, everyone goes on about World of Warcraft, but this came out a fortnight before World of Warcraft, and it's doing pretty good. Ah, here we go. I like to pick on the biggest thing I can while doing these reviews. I thought that was a polar bear. It's not, it's an arctic grizzly or something. In terms of, uh, like, the evolution of the MMO, EverQuest is a game that is well worth looking into. Especially if you like this kind of traditional MMO RPG, you don't like how uh, things are changing a little bit. You've got Firefall and Terror that try to uh, go into the action a little more. <laughs> Thank you very much for the proper review and uh, a little more detail on what's good and bad in the world of EverQuest. Click across to the website. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, try out EverQuest if you're looking for a little slice of history. <laughs>
Thank you very much for watching.